Oh, hey there. Um, so, I was thinking about this today. Um, I'm a huge Potterhead, as I think, I don't know if we're ever talk about Harry Potter, but I love Harry Potter, and um, I'm a Slytherin. And I've taken the Pottermore quiz three times because I'm very adamant about making sure I had the right one. And um, so I was Slytherin three times, and at first I was kind of like, oh, what? But then I looked it up, and you know, um, JK, <laughs> Not like just no, like I'm serious, but like the author. So um, she said that they're not evil; they just have a better sense of self-preservation. So that was fine. But like, here's what actually happens: is you still have that connotation of evil. So sometimes I find myself wondering, like, oh, you're still not Slytherin today, or you're, that is like such a Slytherin thing to do. I don't just say it to myself; I will do it to myself and judge myself and say, is this Slytherin-esque? Is this not Slytherin-esque? I keep looking because I am at my mom's work waiting to go home. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't drive, okay? It scares me, it's fine, I have anxiety, it freaks me out, okay? So like, whatever, okay? I, she packs me lunch too, so I have delicious meals. <laughs> Judge me. Um, and so like, I find myself j just doing things, like sometimes if I'm nice to someone, I'm like, Ugh, you could have been mean to them, which makes no sense. Like, why would I strive to be mean to people? But then sometimes like I just justify my terrible behavior by saying, well, I'm a Slytherin. Can't help it, I'm a Slytherin, right? <laughs> and like, it's terrible. I find myself doing this and it's a terrible thing. Like when I'm just annoyed with the life, like the other day I was just tired and I was in pain and I was just over it and everyone was annoying me and I'm like, it's not my, f and someone was talking to me and I'm like, you know, it's not my fault that I'm angry. Like I'm a Slytherin, okay? Like it's just me, it's who I am and it just justifies me being a terrible person or like thinking about people in a certain way and it's, it's so terrible and like my mom's a Hufflepuff so like she'll do things and I'll be like classic Hufflepuff which the things she's doing are classic like nice person like being thoughtful and caring and I'm like oh you're such a Hufflepuff like what but so I'm trying to be nicer and figure things out which this is okay I can decide if this is a Slytherin thing but I recently, like today, I thought, well, if I like, if people are annoying me, I just think of them as like bags of blood and muscle, because then they don't have emotions and they can't affect me, like they're just there, they're just entities. So, and that's been really helping. Is that a bad thing? I don't know. But it's, it's helped me to just think like, oh, you know, I'm not gonna let them affect me because they're what, they're like just a mass of muscle. I don't know. It's worked well though so far. So I don't know, try it out. If it's weird, don't do it. But like, it helps me to remain calm when people are annoying me. So also exciting news, um, me and my friend John are creating a new channel. If you look in my about um, on my channel, you can see it's called Wolf Duck Cinema. And we will be starting, um, we have some good comedy ske sketches that we've been writing. We've been doing a lot of script writing and um, we'll also do some vlogs um, once school starts again. So that will be for a little bit, but um, that will be happening. And and if you type it into YouTube, you actually can't find it. Um, so I'll just uh, post links on here and like, like the videos when we make them. Okay, thanks for watching. Remember, you matter and I care about you. I'm here if you need me.